I don't know if you guys know, but I have a job. I have something that makes me money while I travel full time and allows me to be out here without being inside of a factory. My job requires me to buy camera equipment and gear, and it also requires me to wake up super early in the morning and stay up late at night. Yeah, YouTube. It's a damn job. I found an article this morning and I, I was reading it and it made me shake my head about what I do for a living. Is YouTube a job? Yes, YouTube is a job. In order to succeed as a YouTuber, you need to follow specific work hours and work under somebody else's authority. That's similar to any other occupation out there. Successful YouTubers also enjoy a steady paycheck, but any business can go under at any time. For some reason, people assume that even the most influential YouTube creators are simply waiting on their AdSense paycheck to come in every month. This is utterly false. Similar to any organization, the content creators who want to turn their content into a career look for diverse income streams. Many of them communicate with brands and work with alternative platforms. Vloggers on YouTube are diverse. I'm a daily vlogger. Daily vloggers pour into planning their daily lives around what would make excellent content for their audience. If something tragic happens, they have to define a fine line between opening up to their viewers and retaining some privacy. Similar to any other production studio, daily vloggers spend a lot of money on equipment to capture their stories and edit late into the night to ensure the content is uploaded on time. They are not free to do whatever they like. These people are bound to an occupation they have chosen. That couldn't be any more true. Right after reading that paragraph, I went quiet for a minute. And I'm thinking about it. Like, do I really dedicate my whole life to doing this? Am I living or am I just working? <laughs> and what did I do after that? I started to set up my laptop right here because I get to edit a video of my life, add some music to it, create a story and share it with you. So, am I really living if I'm working so much? Yes, because this is me. Making and creating and being creative is how I feel alive. I don't see myself ever slowing down, at least not anytime soon. Are you waiting for somebody? Are you waiting for somebody? <laughs> <laughs> he just instantly lost it. <laughs> That was hilarious. Whoa, buddy. Bro, 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 who's that? Okay. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Okay, okay, hi. Hey, buddy, who's that, Grizzy? Oh. How's that for a great little oh. snot in the face? Great. Hey, oh. Hi. It looks good. Thank you. Looks really good. A surprise for great clips. Right? She was very excited about it. <laughs> she was like, hold on, let me cut it again. Hold on, let me cut it again. Hold on, it's too long. It so good, it feels so soft. <laughs> <laughs> Do I tell mom that she'll take me home or I told her to come get me? I told you I'd take you home. Oh. What, what did my message tell you? <laughs> walk. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Yes. Yeah, dude. Very nice. What you got? Puppies. <laughs> we were driving up here and some lady was freaking out like, oh! I hear I thought it may have been a subscriber. Turns out she just liked my van. It has that effect on people, you know? This one's nice too. I like this one though. This is like the best one in here. This is the best one in here. No, it's not. It's terrible. It looks like where's Waldo's. Okay, I get it. I get it. It's a great shirt. Yeah, I don't know. Yours is your problem. Kids. I hope you guys can see, but hanging back there, that long thing, that used to be above. Point out there. 
put it that way. Can you get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. So that used to be the bar back there that said this was at nine feet. My van is less than nine feet. I drove through, hit the bar, the bar came off the hook and now it's just dangling away. Um, yeah, can I have two regular size M&M McFlurries? Did you break the pole back there? Was that you? Did you do that? Did you do it? No, it was you. <laughs> and I took the height bar at the entrance of your drive through down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's like, all right, we'll fix it. Like it's that happened before, obviously. She's like, yeah, yeah. He ate the first. See that? <laughs> There's that one. And I took this one out. Literally. Come on, guys. McDonald's, don't put these on hooks. That is a very stupid move. <laughs> They're supposed to be up there permanently, not just on a hook. Ah, uh, that's right. So this one was never broken. That one, they must have repaired it many times because it's on a hook. That was super hilarious. <laughs> when they're going through, I heard this ting ting. I'm like, oh, hey, yeah, I hit it. And all of a sudden, you hear it going, dang, dang, bang, bang. Hey, buddy, you see what I did? It's just on a hook. It's coming down because it's on a hook and it's not at nine feet. A oh, nice guy going to help him. Dude, this is going to come down again. What? Look at him like offside. Do what you want, do what you want, do it. I am super stoked on this. I don't know why I'm hungry. <clears throat> I had ice cream with my daughter not that long ago. I don't know if you have noodle box where you are, but whoo. Oh, damn. Like, oh, damn. five o'clock in the morning looks like this building over here is getting some deliveries and we are just waking up by we I mean me because <laughs> Cruzy well let me show you hey Cruzy's sleeping so hard he's got a he's got a slobber patch good morning buddy no okay kidding me does someone seriously sit in this parking lot overnight and like have a campfire like some kids just have a party here last night or what yeah 100 percent a bunch of idiots Stop being stupid. <laughs> um, now I'm really out of water. You have reached the Coquitlam Coquitlam RCP GRC. If this is an emergency, hang up and dial 911 now. Good morning, I thought I would message to report it just in case there's been some other crazy crap going on around here that at least at least they would have some kind of a record of it. <laughs> oh, the crazy things we see running around here early in the morning in our camper vans.
sign right up top there says the 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. are canceled, which means, damn it, we have four and a half hour wait. <laughs> damn it! Hello. Morning. Nanaimo. Hello. Yeah, it's gonna be a long wait. It's all good. That's okay. You yeah. Have a reservation, right? No. No. Okay. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just me and the dog. That's, That's all good. I'm at home anyway. I live in my van, so I just watch Netflix. There you go. <laughs> have a good one. Wait six. Six. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta like that. She's like, oh, you can go to Horseshoe Bay, which is right over here. There's a little town. You can go have some breakfast. It's a good idea. Or I could just curl up in the back of my home and watch some Netflix. We got a four and a half hour wait. <laughs> ah, this. Oh, whatever. It is what it is. She went lane six. Why do I always look? It's always lane six. I am the only one here. <laughs> the only one. The lonesome van going to Nanaimo that's here four and a half hours early. That's okay. Looks like we got our regular, regular parking spot here. I gotta change all my clothes. All I smell like is a fire. And I don't like that smell at all, unless I'm standing around a campfire. Otherwise, nope, no thanks. So now I gotta change everything because I just smelt my shorts and they smell so bad. This folder here is Uplifting Cinematic. I spend a lot of time downloading music for my videos. I'm sorry though, bro. I don't have any food. Sorry, buddy. This goes back to the clip I put at the beginning of this video on how daily vloggers, their life never shuts off. Everything I do is content-based or around creating and making videos when you're uploading videos on a on a vicious schedule like mine i don't know what other word to use on a vicious schedule like mine your life is devoted to making and creating things and for me that is so fulfilling to be able to sit here in this lineup and still yet have a creative outlet or or go through music that inspires me to to make more videos because I get inspired by the music that I download. Um, I've actually sat out somewhere and, be, and was listening to something like this, and the song that I found inspired me to make that video that day. This YouTube life is insane. Um, if I were to go backwards, I probably wouldn't do as many videos as I do now, but uh, you know, doing two, three videos a week is awesome because then you can still have a personal life. But for me, I like to be alone. I like to be out there in the backcountry and doing my own thing. So doing a vicious schedule like mine keeps my head satisfied. Love moments like this one. This has been an awesome time here, cleaning my van and going through music and checking on YouTube analytics. It just doesn't quit out here on the road. And I wanna thank you guys for allowing me to have this in my life. I am so satisfied on the daily making and creating something and using here, using everything in here to be creative. I, guys, I just love this. So I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say here is thank you guys. All right, we're going to let you go. The ferry should be here any minute now. Uh, so the next video, I think we're going to be at the shop because Jeffy Bear has got a little project he needs to do in the next few days. So I don't know when he's going to be ready, but you guys will have to tune back in tomorrow. Find out what we're up to. See you.